Hey everybody, thanks for playing World of Tanks, and thanks for checking out this World of Tanks video. I got another one up uh, with the Hellcat on Wide Park not too long ago about playing a turreted tank destroyer in uh, relatively close quarters. This is going to be another one like that. Now here, um, clearly we're in like uh, you know an assault deal where we're defending our base, not in a standard match. They kind of they've kind of reoriented the map. Uh, normally starting, if you will kind of mid-south and mid-north slightly offset but um, basically now south and north starting points obviously here we're in like kind of a northwest corner start point they're about as southeast as you can get without being in the water um, so right now what I'm, I'm trying to just go ahead and come up to this railway track I kind of figure similar to wide park actually this um, orientation on this map is divided we have the if you will the two teams the two start points pretty well divided by this raised railroad track area kind of a hill for peeking over shooting over if you can or otherwise just um, making use of as a pretty predominant feature and one that um, is not just uh, yeah, it has kind of a left left right orientation uh, so you can kind of form up a defense perimeter what I was doing here at the beginning coming up to the the hill to peek over I was trying to figure out a way where it would be very likely that I would only have enemies on one side either the re the left or the right side of me rather than you know coming up and having two sides to worry about I uh, anticipated pretty well uh, that medium was more or less the uh, about as far left from my perspective was about as far left as I was expecting expecting any enemy tanks to be <laughs> Our team has a pretty good deployment. You can see we kind of balanced out. If you go left, right, um, if anything, looks like we're outnumbered up in the north. Uh, to this point, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's pretty even. Um, down south, you see I'm kind of running alongside. I'm not just hopping over and hoping I'm going to be okay. Hopping over to the other side of the, the hill, I'm running along the length of the hill, going to different locations, relocating, making sure the enemy is not really anticipating where I'm at, looking for whatever shots I can get and that kind of thing. Um, also staying mobile too, you saw earlier there, the Artie was after me. Uh, if you sit still, the Artie will, uh, will always love to go after you, if you sit still more or less out in the open. Um, again here, just running along the length of the, uh, the hill, more or less a safe spot. You see here in a little bit I don't keep that safety position. I let myself get shot in a way that I didn't didn't mean to or want to. Uh, and here I'm kind of surprised by this guy just sitting on the track. It takes me a minute to get my shot set up. I kind of expected him to either keep going forward or to go back. He just kind of sat there for a little bit, gave me a shot. Um, yeah, obviously our team's doing really well. The guys in the north apparently just dominated the enemy vehicles. Again, looking for a shot here. Deciding which of these two to go for. Someone helps me with that decision to go for that guy and then rediscover that heavy vehicle heavy vehicle right up there close to me. Now here's where I leave myself up. I needed to come down a little bit toward the right. Get myself lower down and kind of like right there, kind of like below that horizon level for that, uh, that tiger out there. <coughs> Again, team just doing really well. Not a whole lot. Nobody's really leaning on me. Try to win the match. It's always comfortable. Um, and at this point, um, just have uh, a few extra enemy vehicles to hunt down and clean up. Um, am I going away from the vehicles right here and down? I'm not really sure entirely. I think I'm just kind of anticipating them going toward our, our spawn, our capture point, giving myself a little extra distance, a little more distance than I had and uh, getting low so that, I can, so that I can come up over a ridge line if you will kind of peek over uh, American vehicles, US vehicles tend to have really good gun depression and um, that's one of the main things that they have over uh, a lot of different uh, vehicles in the, in the game including especially probably the Soviet, Soviet vehicles and um, the Chinese vehicles, a lot of other vehicles, a lot of other um, Vehicles have pretty good, pretty good gun depression. Um, Japanese are pretty good at it. The um, the Nazi vehicles, the German vehicles, are good enough at it if you uh, know how to use the terrain right. Anyway, uh, you know earlier I had that uh, example of um, using a tank destroyer relatively close quarters. Decided I'd 
come up with another one here because it just kind of worked out. So examples of uh, using those ridge lines to stay safe, using them to uh, be strategic, you know, um, take shots on enemy vehicles without giving up too too many terribly uh, easy shots uh, or any shots at all on your own vehicle. If you guys noticed any opportunities during that gameplay for the play to have been ba made better or more effective, feel free to leave some comments. Otherwise, keep doing what you're doing. Thanks for taking a look at this World of Tanks video. Thanks for playing World of Tanks.